Give me the vargas. Last some lamb. Get them lit. Let's go. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Dawson. So nice to meet you. Or if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for coming back. Today, I want to show you guys how I did this 90s Bella Hadid inspired flipped ponytail with a swoop bang half and a half combo glizzy cacao kind of this whole whims like look so if you guys want to see that please stay tuned all the way until the end and also i do have a tutorial on how i did this very snatched plastic surgery without the surgery makeup look as well so if you guys are interested in that i'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out after you finish watching this video but other than that let's get right into it we're gonna start off by brushing out our hair and I'm going to be doing this on dirty hair. This is literally like day four hair. And the reason behind that is because we're just going to be using a lot of hair product while we're doing this. When I'm done with it, I can just hop into the shower and wash my hair out. If you have like oil in your hair, it's easier for your hair to like behave. You can really conform it. If it's like really clean, it's kind of hard for it to like have grit. So it can't like lay on top of itself, if that makes any sense. It doesn't have to be super perfect. You can get as precise as you want. Just make a part in your hair and brush it out and it's very important that you kind of have like a little bit of section right in front like this so i'm just gonna go back in and really clean that up so now that you have your hair parted to the side you're gonna take a bang piece so what i do is i put two fingers width into my part take a section from there from that part to above the corner of my eyebrow so if you look at it like this it's like a corner i'm gonna clip that out of the way because we're gonna deal with it last so bella hadid's hairstyle she has her entire hair put up into a ponytail but mine's a little bit too short so pieces fall out of it what i'm gonna do it's a variation of the style is a half up half down put both my thumbs behind my ears like this and we're just gonna go straight back up to the highest point of our head like that and then you just take a part for the half up from ear to ear that's what the part should look like now what you're gonna do is go in with a holding product i have the garnier fructis pure clean pomade this is really good for just initially slicking down the little flyaways that we have right here so i'm gonna go in with this product and i'm gonna be very generous with it it does dissipate into the hair pretty nicely so i'm not too worried if it's too much in my hair i'm gonna start going in with my brush and just really smooth it on back you don't want to get any of the hair in the back section make sure that it's not getting pulled up into this ponytail like that because we're still trying to do the half and a half and you can go in behind and like really just smooth it all out and get it to the top of your head and now that you have it brushed out you're gonna go in with a teasing comb this is a boar bristle teasing comb i don't really tease my hair because it's really damaging but i do use it to just really smooth everything out and make sure that everything is where i want it to be back here there's like a little bump a good way to use the brush is to go in with it like horizontally like this instead of like that you know because it's like more precise that way so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with some pantene hairspray this is a really light hold hairspray it doesn't make your hair crunchy or anything like that but i feel like it's a little too light for my taste but i'm gonna just go in and just get that ponytail nice and saturated and while i still have it up i'm just gonna again brush out all the little flyaways and make sure that it's nice and neat and a trick that you guys can do is you can also take the comb itself and then just spritz it with a little hairspray and then that way like see how this little part right here it's a little annoying you can really go in and just smooth it out so now that your arms are nice and tired you're gonna go in with your clear elastics got these from sally's beauty supply you can get a whole bag of like 400 for two bucks and basically we're just gonna tie the half and half pony really high up on the head and this is the first one is just to establish where the ponytail is and you can really pull it 
forward. And now I'm just gonna go in with another elastic just to make sure that it stays in place. At this point, you guys can take out a little piece of hair like this and wrap it around, make it all concealed and really nice. I'm not gonna do that and I'll show you guys why in a little bit of a later step. Clip this up out of the way. I'm also gonna take this hair back because we're gonna deal with the bang piece. With the bang piece, you can finally let it down from that little tie that you had going on. Again, we're gonna put a lot of the Garnier Fructis holding product. This will really sleek it down. It's really nice and sleek and we can really mold it to the way that we want it to sit. Now, I'm gonna get my Pantene hairspray once again and I'm just gonna give it a light misting. It's a really light product, so it doesn't really get crispy or anything. And then now, again, I'm doing this with my teasing comb. Basically, we're just gonna go in with the swoop, tuck it over the ear. And then this is just the initial swoop. Obviously, it's not that the way that I want it. So I'm just gonna go through and like kind of fix it up. Again, over the ear, and then right here, there's like a little weird bump, but that's okay. Just go through and fix it on up. So now that you have your swoop sitting the way you want it, we're gonna go in with two bobby pins. The first bobby pin, we're gonna push it back to keep the bang in the place, and we're gonna secure it into the hair that's pulled upwards. And then we are gonna go in with a second bobby pin and go the opposite direction just to cross hatch it together. And then with this little piece back here, we're just gonna twist it up and tuck it into the back of the nape. Here, I stuck it in, kind of loop it around and then stick it back up into itself. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more hairspray just to make sure everything is holding. And then we can go in again with the comb just to make sure it's all laying down flat. There's a few things you can do with the hair back here. You can actually like go in with a curling wand or like a flat iron and flip the ends out. You can even use like a round brush, really flip it out. But my hair is a little bit curly so I can manipulate it into sitting the way I want it to. Now, the reason why I didn't do the wraparound on my ponytail is because I'm gonna fan it out pretty significantly. And then because I was shooting with it, what I like to do is put a clip back here. And that way it makes the ponytail sit very high up. And then I'm just gonna redo this piece right here because it seems like it's kind of frizzing up a little bit. So I'm just gonna like kind of smooth it down and then pin it again so that it's not frizzy. You don't want it to be frizzy. And here's the finished look. You can, again, you can go in with a little bit more hairspray, make sure everything's staying in place. But this is the finished look. It's very 90s retro flipped and swoop ponytail kind of thing. And I really like it. It's like really nice, it's really easy. You can do it in like 10 minutes. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It really does help me out so, so much. And make sure you guys head over to my other video where I show you guys how to do the Bella Hadid inspired makeup look. I will link that down below as well. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.